So let's look at. Hmm, I'm kind of torn between doing notifications, or a kind of notification icon somewhere over here, and um, making this thing a bit more configurable, like being able to pass through the title. Um, so let's start actually. Let's let's do with the title. Let's we'll make it more configurable. I think let's start there. Because I think doing another like um frame of motion thing at the moment is well gonna be a bit maybe a bit boring, I don't know. Um I think I okay, let's let's play around a little bit with storybook like adding configura um configuration options to like the component where storybook renders it, renders it would be would be interesting. Uh, so we actually want to do props title, um, and then up here we want to say title string. Okay, so let's see. So now what we need to do is in the story for this we need to say okay, well header dot I just want to check what the button was. Primary.org, yeah, so that's fine. So let's see, title is my web map. I think this should be, should be that. Okay, so now we got the title in there. So the other thing we want to pass through to the header is the nav links, so we want to say, okay, well, what's the nav links going to be like? So, nav links is probably going to be an array of objects where we have the, the name of the link and then the URL of the link, all right? So, we want to have two of those. Well, what you know, I'm sorry. Let's say a string, and this is also going to be a string. So I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now when we load up the story, I'm going to say nav links is, and then say name of it is, let's see, what was it in the first name? Home. Right, and then for the URL, we're just going to make it empty for now. And then we're going to make another nav link. Let's say the name of that one is about. And we're going to make it empty URL as well. Okay, so now we've got the name string is, let's see what. Okay. Okay, sorry, I think the definition for this would be something like I think we got that wrong. Oh wait, sorry, I need to take that out. Or something like this if I correctly. There we go. Okay, so now we've got now I can pass through nav links. Okay, so to get through the nav link stuff, it's, it's going to be in the header. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say props.navlinks.map. I'm going to go nav link. I'm going to say return me a, a nav link with the title. On name in this case, it's going to be on nav link. Let's see how this looks. Because we should now have a home about and then about again. On okay, interesting. Okay, yeah. Okay, there's the there's the second about that I was looking for. Um, I'm basically going to do the same thing down here. Um, other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make an empty div at the moment with the TV at the bottom. I'm going to see how that renders for 
home and bound, home and bound. Okay, rent is fine. Okay, so we can take those things out. Okay. So now next thing we need to do is we need to be able to pass a URL into this with navlink.url. Same up here. And then what we need to do is just like add the URL on the navlink as a prop. Navling children, and then so it was on the URL, and then over here, URL is going to be a string. This needs to be an A tag now, where that is the URL. Close up that. It's kind of expected because the A tag now kind of takes us out of the the storybook canvas. What you see now that we've kind of got those up there, we've got still the other about that we need to take out quickly. Okay, we got that about is out. Oh, cool, we got something that looks that still looks nice, it's a bit more configurable, so. And then we also kind of got this documentation about what the properties are for for the header for the default variation um so, so let's see about adding bell icon okay so i'm gonna look for bell icon for for notifications so the bell icon and the i think what i'm going to do for the smaller version is that we're going to put the bell icon next to the overflow menu um so not in the overflow menu, next to it because that way it's visual the user can immediately see they've got the notifications that i don't have to go to the drop down um so if you want to get the attention it's kind of one action less that they have to perform to check what's going on for like get any new information from the app so this is where the three bars sit. so what we're going to do with this so we're just going to duplicate it for now. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go bell icon over there. Okay. Kind of works still. Um, we obviously don't, don't want like an on-click thing that does anything at the moment. What we're going to do is probably have something... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about it. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about the bound click for the, for the bell icon though. Another thing is just we probably want like a bell. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, there we go. So, my desk is probably going to be filled in or something. If, if there's any notifications. Um, so, I'm tempted to say for mobile, what you want to do with the bell icon and the bar like this is you probably want to take the user to like a page that lists the notifications. On desktop, however, it might be worthwhile having like a Mac style type notification bar at the right, where if you click press this you get like a list of notifications that pop that slide in from the from the right but then again it's it's also fun i think if you just do like a page redirect with like a list of notifications where where user can like click read all i think that's what github does and i think but i think something like at, at fashion like jara i think that has the popover where you just dismiss the stuff off the page where you currently are um 
So dearly, what you probably then what want to do is on the bar have a notification list that are basically two two different actions for each one of the bell icons, right? So for the for the desktop one, as you want to do like a popover where stuff slides in on desktop, and then have the second bell icon over here that's in the mobile view do like a redirect somewhere else. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to put another button next to the to the search bar so hidden md blocks i think we put it over here although i'm also somewhat yeah so i'm somewhat tempted in making its own thing not dumping it in with the search about this, I don't know what to do with the spacing, so for now I'm just going to do this, so it's a bit closer. I think part of the problem the search has its own padding as well. Okay, so now we also still get padding back on the... the ball oh, that doesn't look too bad to have a little bit of padding there okay so there would be for this one to show to have like a pop over saying like okay these are the listed locations we go smaller we say okay well we go redirect on that one um so what we probably then want in the props is Noti notification page string. So this is like the notification page notification page URL. So if you click on this and you are going through to if you're on the mobile view you page that that's basically the page for the mobile view notification list. Um I'm just gonna say for now make that blank. And the idea being is, is that on the smaller one, you click on that, then it goes through. Mm. Not quite sure what I'm going to do for the exactly how I want to tackle the stuff for the desktop view. Um, I've kind of got a little notification mini library that I use, like notifications for managing notifications that uses the React context. I'll probably end up pulling that in. And then essentially all that's going to happen is I'm going to have like on display on that so the notifications pop in and out when you click it. But we'll probably end up doing that next video. Um, let's see. So for this one, for the bell icon, and the I think so this is going to be one of the hashtag so. I wonder if I can do something like this, what this looks like. Okay, so. Okay, that's probably going to then take us to the, essentially just, Mimic's taking us to the, to the notification list, so. I also want to drop the box. Flex, okay. Okay, so we got two buttons, one for notifications, one for for everything else. What I want to do next is... Yeah, like I said, I want to do the notification thing in the next, because the first thing I want to do is copy-paste the notification stuff into this project. And then use like... Um, then I have to do stuff with the stories to wrap this in the provider and all that to get the header to, to display the notifications properly on on desktop view. Um, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, so one thing we can do is we can probably start looking at for the for the menu expand for the flow of the menu on mobile we can probably start looking at using the stuff in from that we had for the button from from react warrior so if we go to to headers to button to over here okay let's go this is the stuff we want to place here right so we're gonna say Use button, children, props, okay. I'm not going to use that, we're going to use ref, update, and we're going to use use button from. Okay, so we can't use use button that one, so that's interesting, okay. So we're going to go function overflow menu button we're gonna say we're gonna have props we aria button props I'm going to return basically this button over here. So we're going to say, okay, well, this is what we want to do. So I'm going to say, grab that button. Drop is press, but now we add it back in a bit. What I do now is say over here overflow menu button on. Okay, so that looks funky. That's because this thing is a night attack. That should look less funky. So the reason why we did this is we can do that. Okay, the other thing that we need to do now for these buttons is have a uh, focus. What does it? Outline none. Okay. What to do? Want to do is have a focus ring, focus ring, gray. Put on it. Let's see what this looks like. You barely can see it. Also not a big fan of the focus ring because kind of gets up the button. That's way too much. Okay, so now we're going to put back is pressed. I'm going to change this into I just want to put this in there. Now 
not so that's BG Grouse on hover is pressed as so we don't want to do hovers. the default for background again not that from react aria okay let's see so okay so i'm tempted to try and make the focus the same as the hover probably something we still have to do as well like focus management um, but i'm going to leave it here so next time i'll add the notification library in so and then see if we can do like a popover for the notifications and then after that probably do like the focus management for the drop down menu i hope you have a great day bye bye